Hi, I'm Don Mecoy. I'm the business editor for The Oklahoman and News OK. I'm joined today by Brianna Bailey, one of our reporters. Uh, and welcome, Brianna. Thanks. Uh, Brianna's writing about earthquake insurance, which has become a big issue in Oklahoma. We've had all these earthquakes. A lot of Oklahomans are worried about damage to their property. Uh, but there's been some issues with earthquake insurance in Oklahoma City. Tell us a little bit of the background of that. Sure. Um, well, uh, with the in increase in seismic activity in the state, um, you know, uh, we've had a lot more um, issues with uh, property damage because of earthquakes. And, um, you know, a lot, a lot more homeowners are looking into buying earthquake insurance. And um, a lot of uh, these policies, they have very high deductibles. Um, some of them do not cover damage from man-made earthquakes, so that's also an issue. And so um, the state legislature this session is looking at a few different proposals on um, some reforms for this. Well, tell us about the one. There's one that deals specifically with the man-made quakes. Yes, um, Senator Clark Jolly, he's a Republican from Edmond, and uh, which, you know, Edmond has felt a lot of the earthquakes. Um, he has come up with a bill that would uh, ban uh, insurers from um, uh, not paying out on claims on um, earth earthquakes that are caused by man-made um, issues like uh, oil and gas activity. And um, this has been uh, kind of a hot button issue because a lot of these companies were coming into the state and writing earthquake insurance policies and then of course um, people don't read their policy and they don't realize there's this, this exclusion for damage from man-made earthquakes. Um, when I talked to our insurance commissioner, he told me that out of about, about 100 companies that write earthquake policies in the state, there's maybe about 16 insurers that, that um, have this exclusion for man-made earthquakes in their policies. But um, uh, most of them are smaller companies. They're not the major insurers, but um, uh, Clark Jolly, he wants to have this, um, uh, this exclusion go away. And then, and then there's also another bill, I think it's also Senator Jolly, who has a bill to sort of create a fund that they could draw from. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, um, so uh, this, this other bill that um, Senator Jolly has authored, it would um, make it possible for the state to create um, an earthquake insurance fund. And so um, basically it would be like a state-backed program where if companies uh, stopped writing earthquake policies in Oklahoma, the state could come up with this insurance program that um, people could buy policies from. And um, uh, this is not really an issue now. Um, when I talk to um, both Senator Jolly and our insurance commissioner, John Doak, um, they both said that we, we have a pretty healthy market for earthquake insurance right now. There's, there's companies writing policies here. But it could be something down the line that if we have a huge increase in seismic activity in the state, that companies could stop writing earthquake policies or people could um, be dropped from their insurers because we have so many earthquakes. So this would be something, the state insurance proposal, it would be something that in the future, if companies didn't offer earthquake insurance, in Oklahoma, the state could step in with this program, but it's not something that would be created immediately. Uh, and I guess we should say, uh, as I understand, both of these bills are still pretty early in the legislative process. Yes. They still are going to have to go through both houses and then right. would have to be signed before anything could actually happen. Okay, but that's interesting because I know, gosh, we get lots of phone calls from people who want to talk about earthquake insurance and, and many of them are upset by the time they are calling us. So. Uh, uh, we have we've been covering earthquakes as they go along uh, from the energy side, from the insurance side, from the damage side. We've had a lot of coverage on earthquakes and we'll continue to have that in News OK and on the Oklahoman and you can see it there.